going to be in town this weekend. Today is Friday and they're coming in tomorrow afternoon. So I wanted to talk about meeting my boyfriend's family. I've hung out with them multiple times. They've actually been up here and hung out multiple times, but I've only seen them twice since me and my boyfriend actually started dating. So I met them whenever we were just friends. <laughs> I wanted to tell a little bit of like the story of how I met them and then how we told them that we were dating because it's kind of like a weird one and this is definitely like a weird experience as an adult is having to meet your boyfriend's family. So I'm just gonna vlog my day and talk about meeting his family. Every time his family has come up here, we've always hung out in my apartment just because I have a lot more room and stuff. So I need to clean up my apartment and all that. And while I do that, I will talk to you guys about this story. First, I need to make a thumbnail and I definitely need to go to the gym today even though I really don't want to. Like I said, I met my boyfriend's family when we were just friends. So this was all the way back in Thanksgiving. So I'd taken my boyfriend, well, he was my friend at the time, to his parents' house and he forgot something in my car. So I had to go back to drop it off. So his family had enough time to be able to like come outside and say hi to me. He didn't want me to meet his family, but it just kind of happened by accident. And the reason they wanted to meet me is because his family's Christian and they knew that I was like a new baby Christian and I was friends with my boyfriend and I was an important person in his life whether we were dating or not and so they wanted to meet me and let me tell you I spent the whole day stressing about what I was gonna wear and stuff because I mean we weren't dating but there were, might have been a little bit of feelings I don't know I wasn't really open to dating at the time so I wasn't really trying to think about it but I was still kind of nervous to meet his family but I pulled up and they all came running out of their house and they all just stood in a line in front of my car I worked out and now I'm clean. I also forgot to mention that last night I didn't fall asleep till the sun was literally coming up. I don't know why. I think because I drank a coffee at like 5 p.m. which was the worst idea ever. And I wasn't even doing anything. I was in bed with my mask on trying to sleep. Got no sleep last night. Felt horrible this morning. But we are just pushing through and getting things done anyway. So his family's literally all just standing in a line outside of my car. I get out and I was like, hi and I don't know why I was so stressed so nervous I bet it was really awkward and his mom was like do you want to get like lunch with us or whatever after Thanksgiving so however many days later that would have been I was like yeah sure that sounds good so fast forward to that day I was stressing literally the entire day like I think I got ready four hours before I was supposed to go hang out with them and there was really no reason to be stressed like I was just meeting a friend's parents but I never met like a friend that was a boy's family like formally before this instance and I also remember asking my friend at the time now boyfriend what should I wear like is your family gonna think I'm crazy because I have like all these like piercings and I have tattoos should I cover everything up and he was like no my family's not like that just wear whatever and I was just so stressed I wanted to like look nice and everything anyway so I go to the restaurant also I forgot to mention that his little sister had been watching my videos like since I was like 16 so she actually knew who I was and we go to the restaurant I meet them there I was starving when I got there and I did not eat like anything I think I had like one little taco just a few little bites because we got like a big family meal thing and I was way too nervous to eat but his family was so much fun I love them so much I don't know why I was all nervous but they were all just making jokes the whole time and this is when I was like man this boy has a good family it was raised really well his family was all like super nice and just was joking around having a good time not taking things too seriously and it really was like a good dinner and then I got invited back to their house I have all these boxes I got for free to help me with moving so I just need to find like a better place for them I mean honestly I'm not fine right there but I'm still trying to decide I've also been keeping all of my like Coke Zeros and stuff in this mini fridge in my living room but my new apartment is too small to have two fridges and you know I, it was really just a luxury so someone is coming to pick it up tonight so I need to empty it out I get back to the house and I sit on like the edge of their couch all awkward didn't really know what to do I don't know why I'm so awkward when I meet people the first time but they made me feel very at home and everyone came and like kind of gathered in the living room and then we ended up going in like a circle and everyone was telling me their advice for like a new Christian and how to grow my relationship with God and stuff and they gave me like the best advice ever and just made me feel like I was you know a part of the family and loved and welcomed and so it was a really 
awesome. And then I actually got re along really well with all of his family. So this leads into the second time that I hung out with them over Christmas. I never even like mentioned this on YouTube, but I actually spent like six days with his family over Christmas break. And it was actually hilarious because I flew back from Missouri. I got the flu and I was throwing up while staying at his family's house. So here I am literally second time hanging out with his family, throwing up in their bathroom and staying up all night in their living room. And actually his parents both got up at like three in the morning to come like check on me and take care of me. And they were just really, really sweet about the whole thing. But it was so funny because the drastic difference between the first time I met them super awkward to the second time, literally staying at their house, sleeping in one of the bedrooms and just like chilling, relaxing and feeling like I was part of the family, even though I was literally just a friend at the time. I genuinely had so much fun though and they showed me around their town and I got to go to church with them. And then I actually started a Snapchat streak with two of his sisters. That was literally all the footage I had of me cleaning. So now I'm just gonna do story time like this. So staying with his family over Christmas was super fun. And I think my favorite part about his family is that they are very much like me, just always joking around, not taking things too serious. They all have such an amazing love for Jesus and they love to play games. I played Catan with them. We played Play Dutch Blitz and a bunch of other really fun games. So I'm a big game girl, so it's a lot of fun. Anyway, fast forward, I'm not gonna tell you guys about what it was like telling them we were dating. So his dad was graduating with his master's, so we decided to go stay with his family for the weekend. And we're dating at this point, but they don't know. So we go, and the first night, I'm literally stressed the whole way down. I'm like, when are we gonna tell them? How are we gonna tell them? I can't wait till the end of the weekend because then I am stressed the whole weekend about it. So me and my boyfriend decided we would take them out to dinner. We actually went to Cheddar's, and we'd ask them to go to dinner with us on the first night, and we would tell them. We do that. We ask them to go to dinner with just his parents, so it's his two parents and us too. And we go, and the whole Whole, like dinner I'm barely eating I don't know what it is about me and eating when I'm nervous it doesn't go well together so I'm like barely eating my little chicken tenders I got and his family is just talking about life telling stories and my boyfriend waits till almost the very end of dinner like everyone's finishing I still have barely eaten anything to finally tell them that we were dating and it was actually the cutest thing Ever. I'm not gonna go into detail because it's like a personal moment between us But he told them we were dating and was like Sydney just really wants you guys' approval kind of joking around and I was like Yeah, I mean that like you guys and his family was like you guys are adults like we love Sydney you can do what you want um, but we're happy to have her as part of the family so they were so nice and I was like yay now they know we're dating and I made it so much more of a big deal in my head and awkward than it actually was and of course it helps that his family's awesome and we get along really well so oh also I remember I think it was Christmas I was leaving and his dad was saying goodbye to me this is like the best compliment ever and he was like bye Sydney it was really good Good to hang out with you or something and then he was like you are so funny you actually made me laugh so hard this week and I was like let's go that's the goal always <laughs> I just love his family and they're probably watching this because they watch a lot of my videos so hey oh and then it was like later that night I went into his sister's room so I was staying in one of his sister's beds so she was sleeping in a different room anyway I went in there I was like so me and your brother are dating and they were like we knew it we knew that's why you were taking our parents out to lunch or whatever anyway and then that weekend was really fun and I'm glad that we told his family we were dating because then I went and actually ended up meeting his grandma and his aunt and uncle and his cousins and we went over there to celebrate his dad getting his masters so that would have been awkward it's like hey I'm just a friend just a friend <laughs> but no it was good so they knew I was his girlfriend yeah so now I've met like pretty much all my boyfriend's family and he has not met mine but we'll see when that happens because my family lives a lot further away there's also a lot more of them and I know that can be overwhelming and my boyfriend works Monday through Friday so kind of hard to do a weekend trip 10 hours away but we'll see um yeah if you're watching this and you're nervous because you're about to meet like your boyfriend's family or tell them you're dating or something I get it it's stressful but just be yourself because if they don't like you for who you are then that's on them not you I didn't have to be fake at all. His family just likes me because I'm me. I didn't hide anything about myself. Like I was just me. I was chilling, vibing. His family is super cool and they they don't like judge me or care about anything from like my past or anything like that. So yeah, good vibes. Good vibes all around, honestly. But seriously, meeting his family was amazing because it showed me where he grew up and who 
raised him and the family that he's a part of and you know maybe a little glimpse into the future long way but he's a really awesome family so that makes me really happy anyway so that's the end of my story time nothing too crazy but i just was so nervous and i thought it'd be fun to share the story with you guys because it's such a weird part of growing up is meeting people's families it's like ah freaks me out i don't know but anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye